it's red and today we are back with Arthur we're gonna go see Dutch because we want to go talk to Sheriff Gray so we're gonna meet him here and I guess course, speak to the sheriff Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy, is Arthur a Callahan. Boy, is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Gray. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. That's, That's one hell of a mustache. We did. Sheriff oh, Gray? There's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be That's tough. That's a good so mustache. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> wow. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. Mm. You have found Deputies? Out. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? The Good deputies? No like way. Us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe of we'll course make you permanent. Not. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Okay. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do it's great their stuff. Work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> Who else of course. Would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate mm. that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace if they had any grace to start with. I have oh. no time for tax dodgers. Right. Not to mention the fact right. that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. Sounds like it. Mm-hmm. I'd like to have that problem. <laughs> that bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so too. Does it feel good As to be if. Back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Bill. Oh, Bill. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. Hmm? You see that wagon? I do see that wagon. 
Should I jump down? Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Come on, mister. You want me to come? Okay. So yeah, there's a couple of bodies here. This must have happened recently. You could try washing once in a while. Hmm. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Mm. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. You think? I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Okay. Is there anything to loot? I doubt it. <laughs> the raiders probably came and took it all already, so. Dangerous business, the life of a lawman, isn't it? Appears so. I'm yes, Dutch. We got Archibald here to show us. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Ride to the swamp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Bear right again here. Could drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one mm. tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Now, I was saying something. Oh, yes. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Seven? Oh. They don't mess around, huh? I mean, we know that from first-hand experience, so... Hmm. But seven? Okay, I think we have to pull up here. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Yeah, I something. That word makes me sick. Now. Carbine. And what we find here, we bring in alive, understood? This. Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're doing. Okay. Oh. This feels See? very official. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest. Excellent, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Mm -hmm. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Uh, I want... We'll take the right. Right. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dot. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Hush. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. Okay. 
knock them out and tie them up. Where did the other one just go? Forget just the left. Rider. He just left. Up later. Get the other oh. one. Okay. Oh, I don't want to sprint because I know he will hear me. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Arthur. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. <sighs> okay. One down. One to go. <gasps> oh. Damn. Someone's coming. Stay out of sight. Oh! <laughs> How did I just manage to do that? I don't know. <laughs> oh! Knock them out? What do you mean, knock them out? Carry the moonshine as the wagon. Right. Let's gather them up. Have we done it? Have we done it? He's running, I'm running. I think this is all of them, right? I was so sure it was all over. In that moment, I was like, how is he not going to see me? Of course he's going to see me. I think that's it. Well, all right. What do we okay. Do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Oh yeah. Anyone but him. So, tell me about the. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it. I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, okay. Out the way, Bill. This is my time to shine by placing dynamite and blowing things up how do I plant it? oh interesting okay D I, I guess I oh so ignite it oh I did oh my god <laughs> I was like, what? That belongs to the Lamorne Raiders, you Uh oh. Sons of bitches. Yeah. Get over here. Shit. Ah. Ah. Sons of bitches come from. Okay. There's a lot of them coming now. Can I get two? Oh, is there? I was hoping to get two in one with that. Where are you? Where's the guy? Where's the guy? Yeah! There we go. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you guys at? So many! He just ran straight into that. That's hilarious. Oh! What? Okay, go to him. Go to him, Arthur. Go to him. Go to him. <laughs> Beat him up. Shoot him. There we go. Wow. Oh. I love how there was nobody, and then they all just appeared. That's usually how it goes, right? We good? Are we good? Nope. I see a red dot. Oh, thank you, Bill. I don't see I appreciate any more. that. You... No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. You could see the deadness in his eyes. <laughs> he was just... Oh, that's so funny. 
his eyes are like partially open. It was creepy. Do you think there's anything? Maybe I'm hoping, but I don't know. Um. Doesn't look to be. Just looks like some, you know, empty cans and rubbish and not much else. Return to Dutch. I will return to Dutch. Did I loot this body? I did loot the body. The body I have looted. This one I haven't though. Okay, gold plate buckle. Ooh. Mm -mm. Dynamite? I got some dynamite from him. What else? A dollar twenty-nine. Lovely. Um, 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 um. I'm gonna loot this last this last person and then I'm just going to leave it unless <laughs> no there's nothing okay where's Dutch she's over here mm. I'm sure there was like another place that we were supposed to another part of the camp that we were supposed to blow up no because we only we only blow up the area over there which we did blow up, but I swear there was another one that we were supposed to. I don't know. Well I guess done. we are going to leave now. Well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. <laughs> ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Ah, sure. right. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly <laughs> piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a <laughs> Billy Lime? Leader. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. <laughs> Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay. okay. You're on. That's You're on. Spirit. Okay. On my word. Set, go! Oh! Wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready. Yep. Okay. Shortcuts! Oh, this might be a close race. Or maybe it won't. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. Mmm, it's not over yet, Dutch. Come on, Arthur. Come on, Izzy. Alright, alright, alright. 
thank God we have this horse. <laughs> thank God we do. Because it would be embarrassing. I would have have to... I would have declined. Anytime you want to stop for a breather, you let me know. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Dutch. I swear he was just behind me, no? Oh, we so have this in the bag. <clears throat> Well, what can I say? I think, um, I think it's pretty obvious who's going to win at this point. As long as I don't trip over something or run into something, I should be good. <sighs> he's closing in. I love how he's taking the roads like a good little boy, you know? Good judge. This horse is fast! Okay. Oh! 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 <laughs> I never knew you were quite so good at running away, Arthur. Well, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> Time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. <clears throat> I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. That was fun. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, uh, I want to see Abigail Roberts, Abigail needs to speak with us, and then Bill also needs to speak with us, okay, um, mm, mm, mm. and that seems to be it. Okay, that's good. That's cool. I think I want to start off with... Let's start off with... Bill. Right, let's do Bill. Is this Stu? No. <gasps> there is Stu. <laughs> Great. We are going to eat some good old Stu. Maybe I should donate to the camp. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join Arthur. him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Miss Roberts. Well, uh, okay, so I guess we're going to go see Hosea. What is, what does it say? I want to read what it says. Uh, Abigail told you that Hosea and John are looking for you out by the moonshine stash. Hosea and John. Looking for Arthur. Look at him. Arthur. <laughs> Look at Arthur. Tilly. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning <sighs> barn getting shot at. You're a sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. How the hell are you still alive? You <laughs> seem like a big mouth lawman too, Arthur. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. Just a regular comedian, ain't you? That we are, Uncle. 
even this fool. Mm. Hello to you too, Micah. Oh, surprise, surprise. Hey, get up. <coughs> What's going on? Ah, it's none. Where the... Who is... Let me sleep. <laughs> uh, <coughs> okay. So let me take my horse and go meet Hosea by the moonshine stash. Mm. I wonder what it tastes like. Probably moonshine, I feel like, probably tastes like some kind of vodka, you know, or maybe like a gin type flavor. Just very strong and very unpleasant. Yeah. I can only imagine. Your dead eye court is empty. You can sleep, smoke cigars, eat food, or drink coffee. Should I smoke a cigarette right now? I don't think I have any, do I? Ooh, I'll drink gin. Apparently that's helpful. Let's have another. It's so funny how it will refill your cores, but leave no damage, you know? Some stuff will leave your stamina or your dead eye damaged, but drinking gin is just just it's just good it's good for us apparently it's good for Arthur so. hey Arthur what are you doing selling it back to where it came from why <laughs> I ain't got a market for it they made it they must have someone to sell advertisement it to. advertising kind of new there. American art I think we'll cut ourselves a deal number two uh, I get you you and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm doing mine all right. Okay, Hosea. I should get going now. I'll leave you so we're selling it back. Good luck. Thank you, John. Thanks, we'll John. See you later. See you later. To something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. <laughs> sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good right. citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a great boy. And a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Hmm. That's a lot of moonshine. Yeah. Uh, there must be at least like 20 jugs in there, I think. It's a decent amount. I mean, I don't know how long one jug would last. I guess it depends on the person or the people. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, Moonshine. my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May mm -hmm. I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. 
Okay. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Mm, they're very friendly, aren't they? All the guards at both of the houses are like very unpleasant to deal with. Ah, I'm gonna crash. Sorry, Hosea. Okay, there what we go. Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Whoa. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. Wow. It seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? This what is the welcome I would expect. Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And... Listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Road Saloon. Oh, Here wow. We go. Catherine, Catherine. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. Yeah. The Dutch already have that thing going on in town with... The sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Yeah. Gray. Yeah. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Jose, please. I'm the clown. Oops. You're the idiot. Just look. Sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. Oh, <sighs> what are you doing, Smoke Hosea? <laughs> Smoke the pipe? Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Broke poor mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Fenton? Wow, Isaiah. Fenton. I can't believe we're doing this. Why are we doing this? Why didn't we just leave this and just reject the offer? We're doing this for an extra 10 bucks, no? I'd rather not. I'd rather just be like, you know what? Thanks, but uh, 10 bucks, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pull up over here. Right, and then here. Perfect. 
Okay, okay. Fred, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> <clears throat> Collect the moonshine from the back of the wagon. Pick up the moonshine. Fenton. <laughs> the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Go behind the bar in the saloon. Okay. Gentlemen! Gentlemen, my name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yay! Yay. 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 Put old Fenton to work. Yeah. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor <laughs> thing. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's you that I'll have one, Bill. Um. Bounty. It's a sin to look a gift. <laughs> when I see a gift, of course, I look at my eyes. Wait, what? Huh? So Just keep it. Okay, I'm actually serving. Okay, raise the glass. Don't raise the bottle. Don't be shy. It's the land of opportunity. Now it's your opportunity. All the way to the top. I guess they're trying to get everyone drunk now to cause, you know, chaos in the in roads. So that the sheriff has a lot of trouble on his hands. Which I mean is a pretty smart idea, you know. But it's not good that we are getting ourselves in the middle of this feud. You guys, it's not good. It's not like we have much choice. As you can see, this moonshine is... Ooh. It's working. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Keep it coming, Fenton. Yes, Fenton. Put the pipe and the hat. Drink up, drink. Uh oh. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me, you're the bastard who stole a liquor. Raider. Gentlemen, we're in uh -oh. advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. <laughs> Boys, get him. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> really? Where is my... <sighs> okay. Where are you at? Okay. Good job, Upstairs, hurry! Hang on. Follow Hosea upstairs to escape. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Ah! Oh! Ooh. 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 Where is he? 
Good, Hosea? Are you good, Hosea? Where is he? Downstairs? Oh! Hosea is really not, not equipped for this right now. Where's the gun? Hope you're saying your prayers. Is this a gun that I can take? Or no. How you like coming up against the raiders? Oh, I don't know. Okay, I'm leaving. Right? Right. Why can't why am I stuck? Oh my god, Arthur. Okay. Um, um, um we jumping down, we jumping down. Come on, Satan! Well done! Stop that wagon! <sighs> I'm getting us out of here. Ain't okay. Let this go, What's this? Catamaran oh, Revolver. They got out the back. Got more coming after us. See them. Well, shoot them then. You okay, Hosea. All right. I, I will shoot them. Coming out of the. Oh, hell no. I don't think so. Excuse me. They blew it up? Woo! Oh, that went right in his eye. That was a fabulous shot, Arthur. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Yes! Better stop. There we go. Exactly. Exactly. Oh my god. Boom. You are a Oh, that's so funny. As if. As if that's what you get. To just. Full. Front flip. I don't think so. I don't Jeez, think so. Over a few of booze. I know. I more, they don't want another gang on their patch. <sighs> okay. Guys. Pull off the road here. Of course it was going to lead to chaos. Absolute chaos. And a bloodbath. Typically, All that's right. how things go. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertising. Yeah. Advertising. Do you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, mm. for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. Okay. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Hosea is definitely one to come up with some. So, what do you think? 
interesting about what? ideas. Fine folks around these parts. But you don't want no, to go into a fight with him because he's exactly. pretty useless. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what do you boys think? Inbred. We try to rob them both. Of course Micah would say that. You sure? Of course. Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was That's here. That's sorry from Because Martha. even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something that happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Mm. Okay. Well, that's the word from Dutch. Hmm. Um, let me see what we have on the map before we get started. No side missions that need doing currently, which is good. I don't know why I put a little marker over here. Why did I put a marker here? Remove it. There we go. Um, so yeah, there's Bill. There's Hosea here at Braithwaite Manor, and then there's also John. Dutch told you to meet up with John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. So because we are in camp, first of all, we are going to have a nap. We're going to go to sleep. Until the morning, when it's bright and early and sunny, you can actually see. <laughs> and then we will go speak to Bill and see what he wants. I have a feeling it might be another kind of robbery situation where he's like, oh, I've got this big tip and uh, it's very lucrative but uh, here's the here's the kicker you have to you have to go and, and collect the monies and fight the people to collect the monies and then you have to bring back the monies to me and I'll be sat here in camp waiting for you to bring the monies and then you give me some of the monies for telling you about the monies even though I did nothing to retrieve the monies Arthur, you know we need to talk to you Is that Lenny? Hi, Lenny. Oh, he's smoking. Oh. What is it? We got What's something going on here. Cooking. You might be interested in. Am I gonna like Soda the sound of back this? To Been cooking since horseshoe. Gamora. But you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense and. I don't know. I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. 
It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, exactly. Bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Quick and, think and it's worth quiet. The risk. It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I suppose. It's worth I suppose. A I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. <clears throat> Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mm-hmm. Mm Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. Strauss? Man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Okay, let's move out. <sighs> okay. I so wish I could okay. play as a female on her. <laughs> I'd love to play as like a... So, maybe a Karen? I could play as Karen, I don't know. Go wrong, yours. Oh, it can It'd be go fun. Wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. I know that you can right, online, but we'll in story Jones mode it'd be fun. But to be honest, I love playing as Arthur because I'll show you boys how it's done. he's a great character. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. So. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Either should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Mm. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. <laughs> and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, right. I'm trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. <laughs> You've always been a bad drunk. And... Before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured... And now? <laughs> They all love you. Think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. Trey. I mean, Trey. Not? Roll with it. Mm -hmm. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, 
we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that? And you're one of us, no doubt. Sure, I hope so. <clears throat> All right. Guess we're doing this, then. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Mm. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work it yeah. down and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright mm. pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up is <laughs> just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see okay. about that. Okay. Once things get going. Braze and Braithwaites. Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? Mm -hmm. Grays mm -hmm. and whatever the other one's called. Braithwaites. Oh, Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're yeah. trying to get in the middle of. If mm -hmm. it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. Mm -hmm. Never can resist a scam, those two. I uh, know it. Already managed to get us deputized. Yeah, somehow. Dutch is a real charmer. I'll give him that. He really does have a way with words. He's very slick. Just like the old days. Something like that. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Is Mickey around here or no? Mickey! No, I don't see him. It's been a while, actually. So, I hope he's doing okay. Poor Mickey. I'm coming through. Sure! Okay. My horse is so dirty. That's better. Good morning. Hello. Passing you. After you. Mister? Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. What jacket am I wearing right now? What? I don't remember having this jacket. Yeah? Go to work. Of course. Maybe it's the attire right, that we have to wear. And follow me, fellas. <laughs> oh guys, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. The lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? Ooh. Let's have some fun. Uh, of course, you know I like the Harley. And there Anyone? she is. <laughs> You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, a lot of you. <laughs> now, where is he? Uh, you ready? Get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Perfect, Karen. Do we have the masks on or no? Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's got them real dead. like you don't know me. stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just between us. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn hands up. This is a goddamn room. Nobody move. Get word up. Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Oh. It's unlocked! We're good! 
Okay. I'm going in. Oh, oh you think we're here for fun? Open the goddamn vault! Oh, oh, open it! Oh, oh. Beat him up, Arthur. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. Right now. Okay. I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Play them up. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Okay. Now, you shut the hell up and be still. I'll go check the front. Gonna plant them, and then we'll light them. I feel like I'll just have to light one, no? Because I'm sure they'll all blow up if one ignites. You get a bullet in it. I don't know. Not much. This is taking too long. Come on, make it quick. There we go. Get out, Arthur. Get out. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Zero. Fire. Blow in the hole. Is it working? There we go. Woo! Ka ching, ka ching, baby. Let's get this money. Ooh, ooh, get this money. Okay. Oh my god, 3k. Oh, this is so worth it. How's it looking there? It's looking splendid. It's looking beautiful. 2k? Ah. Oh. Uh, another one cleared. This is looking this good. Money. How much longer? One yeah, more. There. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? That's Maybe. enough. Maybe. Yeah, it's never enough. Well, 5k? I'm ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Oh, I'm so Gentlemen, ready. Hurry! We seem to have some company. Sorry, partner. <clears throat> Shit. Hurry up! We got I heard. Go on. Okay. Are we shooting already? Why did you put the mask down? I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know, give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. Are you insane? Probably. Karen, no! Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry. Arthur, why did you put your mask? I cannot believe you put the mask down. So frustrating. Okay, I'm running. Can we just run? Turn to Bill? What do you mean by turn to Bill? Okay, hang on, Karen, I've got you. Can I run him over? Oh, I can't run him over. That's. <gasps> oh, that's sad. Wow. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. 
I cannot believe Arthur really pulled down his mask for no good reason. He was like, hmm, let me think. What shall we do? I don't know, folks. Is that a gun? Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Get his neck. Carbine. I hope I don't. I think they're coming from the right though. I think more are coming from the right. Yes, more are coming. It was, this is so worth it. This is like the best ball that we've, um. Ooh, was that you, Karen? Wow, Karen. Good shot, Karen. I'm impressed. Yes, girl. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this is the best we've 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 had so far. Got more coming in. Got more coming in. There we go. As if. Where the hell are they coming from? All over, apparently. I love the music as well. It's so on point. <laughs> uh. Come on, get across. Gotta beat that train, Morgan. Oh god. Ah! <gasps> oh! 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 That was too close. That was way close. That was very close. <laughs> uh, I think oh. we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank but you, Bill. very lucrative. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. Very well paid. And that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. Very good. This is like 15k. Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. You're right. Lucrative. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Yeah. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. <sighs> What's our take? Do we have a take or no? Ride to Downs Ranch. So, we are going to go back yeah. to the ranch where Thomas Downs uh, was living at before he recently deceased. Thomas is the guy that we shook down for money. He basically let us know to, I think, come back later um, because he literally did not have it. So now we're coming back to collect the debts after hearing of his passing. I suppose we'll probably get hold of how he, you know, passed away, and that'll be interesting. I have a bounty in this area. This is also interesting. Uh, I'm so scared. What's my bounty? Five dollars? Stop. You're joking. You're lying. The my bounty i have a bounty of five dollars <laughs> so i managed to steal like 15k worth of just it's just pure cash money dough liquid assets money in hand like 15 it was like a five it was like 3.2 it was like 2.7 it was like four Okay, like it's just stacking up and stacking up. I shot yeah. the entire town up, and I have a bounty of five dollars. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. 
other than let's do it again because I would so do that again for a bounty of five dollars. I will pay five dollars continuously, no problem. Ah, here we are. Got the doggy. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here. Yes. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you have as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Arthur can be quite a pig, though, and can't you he? You got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? He can be you a real no a-hole. No respect for the lacks of you. Yeah. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. So she didn't let us know how he died. That's fair enough. I feel bad for them though. I do, it's rough. And the long ride back. Interesting. Okay. We're back at camp now. We've got the money. Oh, we've got all the money, honey. We've got all the money, honey. 10,000. We got a share of 2.5K. Ah! What? Oh, I'm sitting at a cool 6.7 thousand dollars in my pocket right now. I'm going to spend my money on all of the outfits. I have to go to the store as soon as possible. Uh, I can do up my guns. Oh my god. Ugh. The only guns that I use are the guns that I've already done up, though, so it would be pretty pointless at this point. I literally only strictly use the carbine repeater when I have it. For Reverend? Man, cloth, you have quite a way with words. words what are you doing? The very least to my problems. The very least. I'm sure. Okay, Swanson. Catch you mm. later, then, Uncle. Where are you? What are you sniffing about at? Hmm? Hey, Dutch! Evening. Come on. Give me that again. Yes? Hello, Arthur? Calm down. Another bizarre attempt at camaraderie. Well, I should get back to it. All right, Arthur. Can I have another stew? I can't have another pot of stew. Hmm. I can have some coffee, though. As if we pulled in 10k to the camp and I still can only have one pot of stew per day. Wow. <laughs> uh, I see how it is. Okay. All right then. Here's Molly. Hi, Molly. Have a nice evening. Evening, Arthur. Evening, Molly. Don't know what we're going to do with you. Why don't either? Fuck up. It's going to be all right. All right. <laughs> okay. 
We've got Strauss over here looking at his books. Hello, Strauss. Hey, you see Mike could put any money in the box? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay. Thanks. Mm, okay, Micah. I'll catch you later, then. Take care, Arthur. Take care, Strauss. I am going to pause it here for today, you guys. So thank you so much for watching this part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then you know what to do. But otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video.